term for it, but it wasn't it wasn't a tornadic ac activity that hit us, but more of a microburst. Probably isolated uh, oh, within 40, bro 40 blocks of Lake Michigan, uh, Summers, Kenosha, and Pleasant Prairie. There was one fatality directly attributed to the uh, to the storm. A motorcyclist was hit by a, by a falling tree. There were uh, several other injuries, although none life threatening. Uh, the calls for service. Uh, dropped off to normal activity uh, oh, by midnight. Um, we've got crews out that will be working all night tonight, uh, public works crews trying to clear the, uh, the fallen trees, which are everywhere, everywhere east of 39th Avenue probably, uh, certainly along the lake shore. Uh, beyond that, damage it was it was really limited to the city of Kenosha there were two calls received in summers involving down power lines and uh, about 15 fire and EMS, and EMS calls in uh, the village of Pleasant Prairie there was a woman injured in Pleasant Prairie hit by a shed and uh, broke her hip so that was really the extent of, of the damage beyond the city limits and we did talk to someone from the National Weather Service. We operate, we opened the EOC at about 10.30 uh, p.m. And uh, Steve Davis of the National Weather Service, lead meteorologist there, described it as an intense thunderstorm 10 miles off the shore of Lake Michigan. Ahead of that was uh, five miles to the east was a gust front. So that uh, came together to create 70 to 80 mile per hour winds in Kenosha County. My understanding that at Kenosha Airport, uh, winds were uh, up to 66 mile, miles an hour. So it just kind of gives you an idea of the swath of the area involved. The city of Kenosha Fire received numerous calls for service beginning at approximately 8.04 this evening. Uh, calls for service included uh, wires down, approximately eight roof fires, uh, one structure fire, uh, numerous people injured by flying debris, two individuals who received uh, shock, uh, non-life threatening injuries. Uh, our operations were significantly hampered uh, by a malfunction in our communication systems uh, due to the storm high winds. Uh, our emergency command staff was recalled Fire Department was assisted by uh, agencies from Bristol, Salem, Paris, Randall Fire Departments, all operating within the city limits of the city of Kenosha. Uh, there were no firefighter injuries. As the mayor stated, we have uh, a fatality as a result of a tree uh, falling in the roadway and a motorcyclist was uh, uh, Kenosha Police Department responded to an injury accident at 8.12 p.m. on the 7600 block of 25th Avenue for an injury accident. Uh, the officers found a male hidden under a tree. The investigation revealed that he was operating a motorcycle southbound on 25th Avenue in the 7600 block when a tree fell from the storm, uh, striking the male subject. Uh, the fire department responded. He was removed from underneath the tree and transported to Kenosha Hospital. He was pronounced dead. Uh, name is not being uh, released at this point. He was a 31-year-old male uh, resident of Kenosha. The uh, city uh, police department, we were also very busy. We uh, held over our second shift uh, till approximately one o'clock. Uh, most of the calls for service were uh, storm-related down power lines as well as trees blocking the road. I, I do have the power outages for <coughs> without power countywide, um, and that's 18,000, so the bulk of them in the city. 
3,200 in Pleasant Prairie and a little more than 1,100 in the town of Summers. Damage at this point, uh, we do have uh, 70 plus uh, public works personnel out tonight uh, working to clear the damage, making sure that uh, power lines are, are not a problem. assessing the damage, making sure that the streets are open, um, probably kind of coordinating our efforts with Wisconsin Electric to make sure that the uh, signalized intersections are back up and running. Uh, but at this point, it's too early to tell how much damage or how long it would take to make sure that we get everything cleared. So it's fair to say hundreds of trees and branches and wires and poles are down? I expect it's going to be worse than uh, the event that we had a couple of ago where there was considerable damage. I expect this to be much greater than, than the event that we had two weeks ago. What about from a budgetary standpoint? Do they have to um, what kind of difficulty would have pain to do all of this? Well, it's, it's something that has to be done. It's, it's like a snow a snowstorm. You, you kind of assess your budgetary issues afterward, but uh, the cleanup has to be done. It's got to be done in a timely manner. It's got to be done with public safety in mind, uh, making sure that we've got uh, all the wires, you know, the power power wires cleared and signalized intersections back up and running as soon as possible. We will have crews out as much as possible. It's much like a snowstorm where you, you're out there until the damage is cleared up, and uh, people will be working overtime for the next several days. I can assure you.